Welcome back to another Simply Create tutorial video. If you've seen any of the Touch It Trend videos that are out there on Reels, TikTok, or YouTube Shorts, then you'll know what this transitions tutorial is gonna be about. It is not the twerk video version. It is one of my clothing transitions versions. But what's nice about this one is it actually came in as a request. Okay, let's get straight into this. What you're gonna need. First thing is your camera set up on a tripod or somewhere where it is set in place. As you can see, I've got mine set up already just there. And also you're gonna need to decide on a variation of outfits. So you can have a different variety or different variations of the same kind of outfit. For this video, I decided on a summer vibes theme. Now I'm no fashionista. This is more about the tutorial than it is my wardrobe. So don't judge. But for those of you that can't help but be a bit judgy, at least be a bit helpful and give me some suggestions on some items of clothing that I might add to my summer wardrobe. I have also broken this video down into chapters. So if you go into the description, you can skip ahead using those. I am gonna show you actually how to do the transitions in the Instagram Reels app. And of course you can use TikTok or another video app and if you're using editing software, you're probably gonna get a better transition. This is an example of the type of video that we are gonna make in Reels. I've kept my movements pretty simple, but make sure you are getting creative. Jump, twist, turn, strut, do whatever you want that is relevant to you and your theme. To plan your video, it'll need to look roughly like this. You'll need section one, which will be the intro shot, the build up into the song. Remember, you'll need to make this interesting to engage your audience. And then you'll have section two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, however many changes you wanna do that will be on the beat. And we'll also be using three main features. The first one will be the music feature, the second one will be the timer feature, and the third one will be the speed feature for the slow-mo element. Also, with the music, it is a bit explicit um, and it is also copyright, so I'm only going to be able to use different sections and small parts here and there. If you want to know more about this trend, then go and search on whatever app you want, hashtag touch it challenge, and you'll be able to look up some of the videos there. Okay, first of all, you want to add the song, so find touch it. So add the song which is touch it. Then we're gonna to go to the timer, and when we hit the timer, we're gonna find the section we want. We're gonna do it from the start, right the way up to the first big, loud, bang, boom, whatever you wanna call that sound. Then you're going to set the timer, and you're gonna set the timer from the beginning of the song all the way up to that first boom. Once you hit the record, then it's gonna count you down, and you're gonna do whatever you need to for your intro. Remember to make it interesting. I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. Let's see. It wasn't bad, but it's not what I want. So, hit record. Okay, I've now recorded my opening, and for the opening, I decided that uh, it was around six seconds. So I'd say between four and eight seconds will be okay. Again, make it interesting. The reason I did this is because I didn't want to do loads and loads of changes, but that'll be completely up to you. Now the first transition, I'm just gonna do as a nice normal speed transition, okay? So I'm gonna set the timer again. So I've now set the timer from one boom, bang, to the next beat, which is a boom bang, which is actually only 0.6 seconds between one cut to the next cut. So it's gonna happen really quick, so be ready for that. This one, I'm just gonna do a normal cut, change, whatever you wanna call it. I'm gonna go and change to my next outfit. I'm back. And this is my, what I would call, my lounging around the beach slash by the pool chill. Here I've added the timer and it's 0.6. I've added a line just so I can see. So as you can see, I've changed again. Uh, the first one was just a normal snap transition. This time we're gonna add the slow-mo in. Okay, so what you wanna do is go to the top, add a 0.5 slow-mo, do the transition, Find the beat, set the timer, I'll put the align on for me. Right, I'm going to line myself up. I'm going to watch it back, 
As you can see, changed again. We're gonna do the same again, slow-mo, align tool, use the timer. Um, let's go, let's set the timer to... Don't forget, although I'm making this in the app just to show you that anybody can do it who has the app, you can also create all of these images and shots in slow-mo or whatever you need to do outside of the app before you upload it into the app. This might be easier and more helpful. See what it looks like. Had to move quick then. And then my last one is just going to be coming towards the camera with some shades on. Don't forget when you set the timer to be slow-mo, so to slow it down, the recording time speeds up. So if it's a second, it'll actually be like 0.5 of a second so that it can actually stretch that footage, make it slow-mo without it losing quality. Okay, back to it. So slow-mo set, timer. Okay, that's me and my fashion stuff done. Um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you found it helpful. As always, if you've got any questions, leave them in the comments. Don't forget to tapity tap tap that like button. Please subscribe if you're not already. And as always, from Simply Create, thank you for watching.